Today on Live It Up, I am joined by artist Elise Drake, and she is our fine art correspondent, and she's also my child. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing awesome. Good, good, good. So what have you been doing? You went out to the Hamptons. Tell us about where you've been as our fine art correspondent. Okay, so I started with uh, fine art, and I started with painting. Okay. Um, and then I went to art school, and I switched into sculpture. And now I do a lot of fiber work and guerrilla performance art. And so this past weekend, um, I just went to the uh, market art and design fair in the Hamptons, and uh, I just do my own performances there. I wear my own garments, and I just Go for people it. were taking pictures. Yeah, yeah. People were they do the sneak videoing, videoing me doing stuff. So, and you also put one of your toes. Explain what your toe is. Oh, and, and then okay. Yeah. I, I also love Roadside America, which are these roadside attractions that are just very goofy. Um, they're like, um, and they're like all over the United States. And so I have um, wood sculptures that I just place in different locations. And so I've done a few of my first own mini roadside attractions. Uh, which are like gorilla roadside attractions here on Long Island. And yeah. where did you put that toe? Uh, it is right on the water, right <laughs> by the market art and design <laughs> show. So it was like showcased at the event fun. that I just like did myself. So. Totally fun. Yeah. Um, so where did your love for crochet start? Uh, probably uh, it was like in seventh grade. So I don't know how long. Ago. I just graduated art school. So um, and my good friend at the time, her mom taught me while I was at school at FIT taking a class and she was like, oh, you wanna learn how to crochet? So that's how I started doing it. And I actually didn't pick it back up until this past year. So I've been crocheting for about a year now and I crochet full body suits. Some are more casual looks, like this is just a t-shirt kind of look, but um, then I do full body suits where you can't see my skin or anything, full mask covering. And the reason that you're doing that, um, you explained to me is that you wanna have uh, somebody look at your art without gender, right, without race. You want it to all be about equality. So that's why you kind of consume yourself in the costume? Well, yeah, I mean, like, to be a character, it's like a very uncanny thing. And I think um, it, like, gives me a lot of fluidity for who I am. And I can really, like, transform myself to be something other than a uh, white chick, uh, 21 from the 21st century kind of thing. And intrinsic worth matters to you. What are some of the themes that matter right, to you? Right, yeah. I started doing crochet because I was spending a lot of time um, uh, with arousal addiction of the computer screen, like just always looking at the computer screen on Facebook all the time, like wasting my time. And so I wanted to do something that I felt like my time was going into something more substantial. So I, stitch by stitch, you can really see the buildup of like some of your time going into something. Um, also, I care a lot, of it, a lot about it because of the planned and perceived obsolescence of the consumerist market. There's so much more about it, but it really was, it's about, um, therapy for myself. So like of all the negative things that are in my life, I decided to use my time and use my negative energy to really learn and build off of when I make these crochet looks. And um, then I can actually perform them in intrinsic worth, which is on the, can I turn, do you mind if I turn around? Yeah, you can turn around, sure, just da -da -da, da -da -da -da. intrinsic <laughs> worth. Intrinsic worth. There you go. That's Should one of the valuable. pieces. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot about self-love. Excellent. Therapy, yeah. Good for you. Uh, so Elise, you brought this portrait that you did of me, and even if I wasn't your mom, I would think that it's pretty awesome because it looks like me, and I'm so grateful that you did this. Can you tell us about your process when you do portraits of people? Sure, yeah. Um, so for the portraits, I actually do usually do it from a reference photo, and I do it in a lot of layers. And so when I do these portraits, I usually use oil pastel. That's the medium I like to work with because it's more of the process of drawing, but it comes out very painterly because I do it all, and I do this how I do it. You squint? I do it like that, yeah, when I <laughs> paint. Um, and so, and I actually scratch away at the surface too. So when I started doing, that's how I scratch, I scratch away to get highlights, and so it's like this push and pull. And process. you've done beautiful pieces. I know that your friend Cody passed away and you did something that they showed at the funeral, yeah. and so it's for CEOs, it's for people that want to acknowledge something you know, yeah. or, or pay tribute to somebody. Mm -hmm. And you once told me um, that what you really love doing is capturing somebody's joy, like the essence of that person. Definitely, so, yeah. And how do you know when you've hit it, when you should just stop working on it? Oh my gosh, the process, like halfway through, it looks so creepy, these drawings. They look like so ugly halfway through, but you just keep pushing and pulling, and then it finally, you just like keep looking at the overall thing. You, you go back 20 feet, come close. It's a whole big process, but once I get to it, it's the best feeling ever. So you like to move people, you like to have them emote, and you're gonna be showing us a fashion show of some of your work. Yes, All right, I am. starting with intrinsic worth. Let's get it going. All right, let's, let's get it going, it. let's do it. All right, let's watch. <laughs> Outfit one. Girl power shirt for when I look in the mirror, I can read it to myself. I want what I have. 
I'm intrinsically valuable. This hat will say, Womb Envy. Shop local. Me and we. I'm a culture contributor. Arousal addiction suit. <laughs>